What's happening everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome back to some Horizon 5 once again. In today's video, I'm gonna try some of the tunes that you guys have sent me. It's been a while since I've been drifting on this channel, especially drifting with some of your tunes that you guys sent me. So I thought, you know what, let's go back and visit some of these and see if anybody sent me anything interesting. So I have a couple of them that I want to try out. One of them especially, I really want to try out. To see what it's like because it's an A-class drift build. Meaning that it's a slower car. You don't expect this thing to be very, very quick. It's, it's going to be nice and slow, very technical. It should be kind of fun to try. Also, I want to say a huge shout out and a huge thank you to you guys watching the video right now. For you guys that have clicked that subscribe button recently. Um, who's been enjoying the content and all that sort of stuff. I do notice it, so thank you guys for that. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get started and uh, do, uh, do what I'm here to do, and that is drive some of the tunes that you guys sent me. If you guys are new to this channel and you're new to the series, basically what I'm doing here is I try the tunes that you guys have sent me over on the Discord. So I'll link to that is down below. If you have anything interesting to send me, any funny tunes, any good tunes, bad tunes, troll tunes, whatever, for any car whatsoever, uh, go to the Discord, go to the specific channel, and send your tunes over, and I get to try them out. So this is an A-class drift build MX-5, and I want to try it. I want to see what it's like. 160-791-731 is the code. Experiment drift. It's A-class. Drift tire compound. Uh, I don't know if that's the best. I feel like this is going to be... Uh, I, I can already see that... You gave it 760 horsepower and you gave it drift tire compounds? Uh, I, I don't know about this one, Chief. I, I don't know about this one. I was expecting, you know, having about four, 500 horsepower max, you know, do a little bit of slow sliding and stuff like that. This guy gave it everything. 760 horsepower. I mean, go on then. I Like I said, A-class. Like I said, I was expecting something a lot less extreme than this. Uh, but I guess the MX-5 is, uh, it's pretty low class in general, so, um, let's, let's take it out. I was actually initially planning on taking this, that was first, what did you do to those wheels? <laughs> Why, bro? That's so ugly. What is this? What did you do to this part of X5, bro? <laughs> it's like you decided to do... Uh, I don't even know, man. It's like you forgot to change the wheel size for, a fr for the front wheels. What is this? I mean, it slides, I guess. Very short wheelbase of this thing always, always, uh, always makes this car so twitchy to drive. I don't like that I have to be in like fifth for for these like really, really small corners. I'm only doing like 50 miles an hour or whatever. See, I'm on fourth or already banging limiter, and I'm like barely driving anyway. Yeah, this, this isn't really a, a great tune. How many gears did you put into this thing? Six? For 760 horsepower. Oh my god, man. Why is it so unstable? <coughs> my car, because this is what I expected. I expected this thing, like I said, to have around like 400 horsepower. Which is still a lot, right? 400 horsepower is still a lot, but... But I actually just wanted to uh, to bring a car here. I mean, I probably could still do it with this thing because it just does not utilize that 700 horsepower at all. All right then. I've done two different tracks as well to test cars out on, especially like lower horsepower cars. There was an S13, I think, that someone ended up sending me a while back, like a long time ago. And I actually really, really enjoyed drifting that here. It's just so... 
It's so weird that this makes so much power, but it, it just doesn't utilize it well. I don't know. I really, I really don't know what to what to expect from this thing. It does slide. I feel like I can lose it really, really easy. I'm, I'm like in too high of a gear, but then when I bring it down lower in the gears, oh, I don't know. I just don't know if I like it. Maybe cockpit. See what I mean? Like, it's so easy to spin out because I have to stay in third. Because if I put it in second, like, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'll just end up, end up hitting limiter the entire time and I'm not going anywhere. See what I mean? That's why I'm trying to select third. I don't know. I think it's just the tire and. I don't know, man. It's just too much power, I think. Too much power, not enough grip for it. That is... That is my thought process here. And I don't know what you've done to those poor wheels, though. Yeah, I'm not, not a huge fan of this MX-5. I've got to say. I was expecting a lot more. I don't know if this is, like, your first time tuning or, or whatever, but... I'm just not a fan of it. It's not a terrible car, right? Like, I can't say, you know, this thing, this thing's so... Wait, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I can't say it's a terrible car because it's not, but it's like so... I just feel like it's, it's a tune that people who have only started to play this game recently are making. You know? Put everything that says drift on it and then that's it. Just go. Give it as much power as humanly possible, and then just give it drift tires and drift suspension, and then there you go, there's your drift build. It feels like you haven't adjusted the gear ratios. I feel like you put a, a, a gearbox in this thing, you've upgraded the, the, the gearbox, and I don't think you've adjusted any of the ratios. Because I've seen sometimes when you select the, the 6 speed or the 7 speed or whatever, it makes your final drive really, really short if you don't tune it. And that's exactly what this feels like. That is exactly what this feels like. It feels like you haven't tuned this car. You've just sort of added the power to it, and that's it. Which is a bit boring. Even for longer corners, I was thinking about it. Maybe, you know, I just picked the wrong track or whatever. But even for longer corners, like, I feel like this, it just doesn't have the, the top end. Because of the really, really short gear ratios. That's what I was thinking. I was like, you know what? Maybe I've just picked the wrong track here. And I've just brought it on just, just under basically the, the wrong place to slide it. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's like... I mean, it doesn't really matter where I bring it because... <laughs> this thing just doesn't have... Doesn't have the traction for me to... To go anywhere. It takes about 10 minutes to actually get up to speed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It still hasn't done 40 miles an hour. There, just accelerating. Yeah, not the biggest fan of this MX-5, I gotta say. Yay, we're done. Oh, no, come on. Where's this finish line? Why is it off behind this? Alright, let's let's go to a different tune. Okay, let's just ignore that one and go to a different one. Alright, next one is for a C63 AMG. Apparently, it's a drift build, S1. Honestly, really clean looking build too. I just hope. I really, really hope that this isn't all-wheel drive. I just want to slide something rear-wheel drive. At least this is all. This was rear-wheel drive, this MX-5. That is the one thing. But I really do hope that our next build, or whatever, our next tune that I'm trying is not all-wheel drive. Let's hope you kept it rear-wheel drive. All right. Five, six, eight is the code. I'm blind. Three, seven, one. One, two, two, five, six, eight, three, seven, one. And search. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, 845 horsepower, lots of torque, weighs 1,300 kilos, drift suspension, snow tires, this is the tune. This is the tune that I'm looking forward to driving. He knows about the snow tires, which I'm very happy to see. Very, very happy to see. Alright, cool, 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 cool. 
Uh, is it in Benz or is it in AMG? It, it's in Benz. Right, so I have two of these that are the same? One's rear wheel drive, one's all wheel drive? Why do I have two of these? I honestly do not remember why I have two of these. Anyway, I'll, I'll just take one of them, I guess. <laughs> They're both built for off-road racing, I think. I love the CC3. It's so cool. Alright, cool. Boom. My tunes. There it is. I think this deserves to go down the hill. I think this ha this should have enough power and it should have enough grunt as well, even with the tires. Actually, it is pretty clean. I'm not gonna lie, even with the wide body on it. Sounds pretty decent as well. Even a third gear? Burnout? Alright. Gears seem nice and long. Oh my god, this thing actually feels like it has 800 horsepower. Oh man. Oh man. This is like night and day. That's already lovely to drive. Already, I can tell how much better this is than the MX-5 tune. That was so clean. Super, super clean. All right, I, I love how we fast traveled here because I knew that this was like where the, the drift zone started. I'm gonna fast travel to the top of the mountain. I wanna, I wanna enjoy this. I wanna enjoy sliding this all the way down from the very, very top. All right, come on. Start off in second because I know this has so much torque. Okay, yeah, very little power needed to get us out of this. Or a throttle input, no power. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I was right. There's something about drifting rear wheel drive that's just, you can't beat. It's really, really nice. It's so precise with my movements and everything. Yeah. I really like it. I still haven't hit into 50 yet. I probably should. Let's go fifth. Fifth is alright. Not bad. Third for the slider corners, fourth overall, and then fifth, I think, for the really, really long corners. Is by the looks of things. The way to go. Fifth kind of bogs down ever so slightly. Until you actually get it up to speed. See what I mean? Oh, I spun it. I spun it, I spun it, I spun it. Oh man, I miss drifting in this game. Drifting rear wheel drive anyway, because it's been a while. Whenever I do any sort of... Any, any sort of sliding in this game, which is very rare nowadays, thinking about it, it's usually from stuff that you guys usually send me. Or now when I'm doing like top 1000. I don't know, I've sort of just veered away from drifting. I used to do it quite a bit. But it's nice. It's nice to hop back on and and slide rear wheel drive. The torque is great from this thing though. I love it. I almost I almost spun it there. It's a good catch though, like it's 
It's very easy to, uh, to catch this thing from spinning out. I just, like, sort of pushed it. I wanted to see what it was like just by flooring it a bit too much. Especially at the very beginning, I love just testing out to see how much, I guess, uh, angle I can keep with a car. Especially when I'm, like, just flooring it. It's nice. Like I said, huge, huge difference between this and the MX-5. Like I said, because this has, this doesn't have the drift suspension, this has the snow tires. And I think because this also has uh, much wider tires than the MX-5, it just feels better to drive. MX-5 just doesn't need that much power. I don't even think it weighs a ton. The one that he sent me over, I think it was like 900 and something kilos. Am I, am I right in saying that? 900 or 800 kilos or something. It just doesn't need that much horsepower on those tiny little tires. But this is a joy to drive, seriously. Super, super nice build, man. slows down perfectly as well, like you know exactly when you should start like using the handbrake and everything to sort of just start slowing down for corners. It's just it's it's just nice. Very intuitive and very easy to drive. I love how I'm driving this uh, this downhill section by the way. I hate those. I hate those so much. I turn them off again. I had them on I think for just some challenges but I hate the skills they just keep popping up on my screen. It's so obnoxious. What was the same? Very intuitive, very easy to drive. And uh, yeah, the way I'm driving this <laughs> this downhill section is like the the way I'm doing the um, what you call it, like the point drift uh, build, I guess, or point drift uh, runs. I was trying to do like top one thousand and stuff with like all the drive cars. It's completely different. Should be driving like that. Not with regular rear wheel drive cars like this. I love it. I love keeping like a nice wide angle as well. It's okay, it's just a scratch. It's not my car anyway. <laughs> well, it is, it's just a different tune. Yeah. Much, much nicer. Much, much nicer. It also looks cleaner as well. He was right saying that it's a, it's a clean looking build. Because it is. Ah, this thing just burns those tires, man. Absolutely eats those tires up. It's still going. I love the smoke in this game as well. That looks so sick. That looks so cool. I want to see what that looks like behind me, because that was so, 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 so cool. Look how long that trail is. Damn. If I wasn't on the grass, this would have been a nice picture. <laughs> but that trail of smoke just keeps, keeps going all the way around the corner and everything. That's very, very good. Yeah, it's a really cool caravan. I appreciate the, the bills you guys have sent me. And oh, this is nice. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos like this on the channel, then of course, um, simple enough. Send some stuff over if you have anything fun for me to try out. And I'm definitely down to try it. Also, don't get upset if I roast your tune or whatever. Just spend some more time on it and you'll improve and you'll get better. Pretty, pretty obvious. But yeah, that was nice. I like this AMG. Very, very cool. Alright, everyone. Thank you for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.